Reed Springs Trailhead. I'm gonna check out some Fazari bikes. The King's Peak is their fat bike. I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, so this is a uh, brand new frame design, full carbon, um, features the SLX 1x11 drivetrain, hydraulic disc brakes, um, and then uh, quick release uh, seat post so it's easy to adjust uh, when you're you know, climbing and descending. Um, so. Is that running a 28 tooth in the front? Uh, yeah, on this one, yep. So it's uh, that's a blast. Aired down the tires just a little bit for the snow today. So it's actually pretty firm out there, pretty packed, but. And it turned out to be a beautiful day. It was yeah. like frigid like half an hour ago. Uh, how much is, does this weigh? That one, you're about 28 pounds. Okay. Tires are quite full though. Yeah, they are. You carry that around? I have one of these, but I just never carry it because it's like glass. Okay, nine. I'm lying. <laughs> it seems so like full. All right. Okay, so today I'm demoing the Fazari King's Peak carbon, full carbon fat bike. Daniel in front of me owns one, although he said there's some differences. Number one, he's got a dropper. The other thing is his chain stays are shorter. Daniel, is yours a Shimano drive chain yeah. as well? Okay. Also SLX? Yeah. Okay. Well, I put XD on it. He switched his to XT. Okay. So you must have gotten that three years ago. Three years, a couple of years ago. Okay. Thanks. How's it been for you? Excellent. Excellent. How much does your bike weigh? 29, so the guy said this is 28, but it feels a little heavier than 28 to me. It's close. Yeah, I like riding this carbon frame better than my aluminum. Yeah, it's, it's a little lighter. Probably the reason why mine climbs almost as good or whatever is because it has the less aggressive geometry which tells me this should be a lot more fun than mine coming down. Okay, so my front tire definitely slips a lot more than on my bike. I mean, this front tire. Struggle. It's just so slippery. But I, I would guess some spike tires anyway on my bike i'm running the v tire co snowshoe xl on the front with spikes and i love it i'm just so slippery on this front tire it's not even working i'll drop a little more yeah i let a lot out I thought I let it let enough out, but clearly not. And I'm not kidding, the spikes are amazing. Having studs just keeps me pretty dang solid. Do you have stud on the rear? No, just the front. But here my front was sliding where I would normally hold. It sure looks pretty and it's pretty dang light. I'd love that about it. Making it through the spot where everyone slides now, that's cool. Less tire pressure can definitely make a difference. So this thing's running the Ma the uh, Maxxis Colossus 26 by 4.8 tire, tubeless ready. Um, and I don't love them. <laughs> it's probably just my pressure. I'm letting more and more pressure out as I go along, so. So 
So bunny hopping is fun. I'm used to Shimano with a thin glove, but with thick gloves, it's just so much easier on the SRAM. Yeah, I think I'm feeling that slack when I climb. It's a little bit harder than I would want, but not bad. Trying out the downhill. We're riding out here at Valley Vista. It's pretty fun, a little bit of snow. Well, sorry to slide the front there. But I survived without the studs. That's good. Here's the fun part. Hopefully it's fun on foul bikes. Whoa. Definitely harder to get air. <laughs> How do you like your Fazari so far, sir? It's nice. First time on a fat bike. Sweet. How about you? First time on a fat bike. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so I guess it, the Fazari is awesome. <laughs> Get it. Nice. Yeah. Okay, tell me about that bike. Okay. So difference between their older one and newer one. I'm pretty sure this head tube angle isn't quite as slack and the seat tube angle is a little bit steeper this way because the front end of this is a lot harder to get up. Um, it could be stem related but I don't think that's it because this is a fairly short stem to start. It's, I think this is like a 45 mil stem and I run a 35 10 millimeters can make a difference, but yeah, narrower bars feel kind of funny. But I think these bars are like 720 maybe. And then the, the chain stay, this rear triangle is a little bit longer than their older one. I think that is a huge contributing factor to the playfulness as well. So you're feeling like it's a little less playful than the older one. Yeah. So my, my red one is easier to flip around. Okay. So regarding the handlebar and stem setup, this bike came with what that bike has. And I rode that for a year and a half and it was fine. If I swapped this out to be more like my mountain bike. And so this is not your stock stem and handlebar setup. It's just what I like. Yeah. This 
sick. So it feels stable on the faster downhill, yeah, for sure. Oh, I should have gone down there. Just watch your on coming. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's better downhill than my bike, yeah. It's good, it's solid. Feels really good. That was cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple things I'd do to it. I would shorten the stem, widen the bars, put on studded tires, at least on the front. Um, I wish I could get one with a SRAM instead of a Shimano. It's because it's easier with the gloves to me. How can I not try and hit that hill? So that was the Fazari King's Peak Carbon, and I liked it. It was a fun bike. It was definitely more fun than my bike on the downhill. Um, on the climbing, however, I felt like it, like my uh, On One Fatty, is what I have. I felt like the On One Fatty climbed better. Like I could get, okay, I should say, on switchbacks that are really snowy, I could make it make it up them, even though the snow is all churned up because a lot of people are walking and, and me, you know messing up the snow. Um, I could climb up that on my on one fatty that you see behind me, but I could not climb up it on the King's Peak. But it could be just that I know how to position myself on the bike. I don't know. Like maybe if I rode it a lot more, I'd like it better. Um, I also had lower tire pressure on the on one. So, cause basically what I did was I rode the course twice, one with the Kings Peak and one with my bike. Um, so anyway, I like how light it is. I love that. I like the SRAM shifters better though. So I kind of mentioned that. Uh, anyway, so those are some of my thoughts on it. But right now, I don't think I'd spend that money on that. I want to try a couple more bikes first. This is the trail cat. He lives here. I don't know what that is, but frozen brine shrimp looks interesting. Hi, trail cat. Apparently the back of his tag says that he's he's a trail cat. And it does? Leave him alone. Yeah, I live below the Murdoch trail. Let me go and I'll go home. What? 